Once upon a time, in a village in Italy, there lived an old woman named Streganona. In Italian, that means Grandma Witch. Streganona knew how to use magic, but she always used her magic for good. She could get rid of words. She could make people fall in love. And she could make hair grow on a bald head. Let's see, Streganona, thank you. But Streganona was getting older, and it was hard for her to keep her cottage clean and the garden well kept. So she put a sign in the town square. The sign said, Stragonana is looking for a helper and cried at the cart on top of the hill. A boy named Big Anthony ran a sign. This would be a perfect job for me. He ran to the cottage at the top of the hill. Oh, Stragonana, let me be a helper. Stragonana said, All right, Big Anthony, you must sweep the house, wash the dishes, weed the garden, pick the vegetables, feed the goat, and fetch the water. I will give you three coins a week, a place to sleep, and food to eat. Do we have a deal? Si, strega nona. Yes, grazie. Si. For Big Anthony. Yes. There is one thing you must never, never do. Do not touch my pasta pot. Si, I will never, ever touch your pasta pot. And that was that. Only there was one thing strega nona didn't know. She didn't know that Big Anthony's nervous. I was paying attention. One day, when Big Anthony finished his chores, he was standing outside the kitchen window. He heard Stregonona singing. Ba 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 pasta pot. Boil me some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to stop. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. The pasta bubbled and boiled with shuku with delicious smelling pasta. Then Stregonona sang, Enough, enough, pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. Amazing! Wait until the other villagers hear about this. And Big Anthony ran off. Unfortunately, he didn't see so Very important. He didn't see Stregonona blow the three kisses to the pasta pot. The next day, Big Anthony was back into the villagers. The pasta pot is magical. You sing a song to it and pasta appears. It is the most delicious pasta you have ever smelled. Sure, Big Anthony. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Are you feeling all right? Because that story is just foolish. When the townspeople didn't believe him, Big Anthony felt angry. I'll show you. Just wait. I'll show you all one day. He stormed off, but he didn't know his chance to throw the magic pasta pot to the villagers was coming sooner than he thought. When he got home, Stregonona said, Big Anthony, I'm going to over to the next village tomorrow to visit with my friend Stregamelia. Take care of the cottage and do not touch my pasta pot. Of course, of course. Travel safely. Ha 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 ha. My chance has come. I'll show those townspeople, then they will feel like the foolish ones. The next day, Big Anthony rushed to the town square. Everyone, bring your bowls and forks to Stregonona's house. Free pasta for all at Stregonona's house. The villagers still didn't believe it, Big Anthony, but they were curious. So they bought their bowls and forks and walked to Stregonona's cottage on top of a hill. Thank you all for coming. Now, for the magic song. Bubble, bubble, pasta paw. Boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And the pasta paw began to bubble and boil. Unbelievable. He was telling the truth. Three cheers for Big Anthony. Hooray, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. Thank you, thank you. Town people filled their bowl, bowls with pasta and walked outside. Big Anthony sang, enough, enough, pasta paw. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But he forgot to blow the three kisses. As Big Anthony chatted with the townspeople, the pot kept on bubbling until it began to overflow. Big Anthony, look! Oh no! That's not supposed to happen. What in the world is wrong with this? Run for your life! The pot house was in the water and the pot was coming out to where I was in the road. I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. And then she moved the three kisses. Rock, rock, rock. Pasta pot stopped bubbling. The villagers thanked Stregonona. But then 
They turned on Big Anthony. String him up. Lock him up. Throw away the key. Now wait. The punishment was split the card. Big Anthony, you want a pasta for my magic pasta pot? Well, I want to see my little cottage tonight. So here. She, she handed Big Anthony a fork. Start eating. Oh. And he did until he had eaten all the pasta up. Oh.